Alrighty guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you don't know there's been a lot of rumors surrounding Damian Lord and the Toronto Raptors. And I think it would be really fun to see Dame go to Toronto to pair with, you know, Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam and the rest of the core. And I just don't think it's going to happen because Dame, he really wants to go to Miami. And hopefully he can be in a Miami Heat uniform like before training camp or something like that. Because the Blazers are finally trying to trade him. At least that's what it looks like. So if you take a look at the trade, we went ahead and did. So we are acquiring Dame Lillard as well as Keon Johnson for salary or to get it like an extra player, I guess. And then we are trading OJ Ananobi, Chris Boucher, Precious Achua, and a first round pick. We also included two extra first round picks in the trade because 2K doesn't let you like trade um, that many first round traders or something like that. So basically we're giving up OJ and OB, Chris Boucher, Precious Yachua. Otto Porter Jr. was also in the trade as well as Melkai Flynn and then two first round picks as well as another first but it doesn't show but yeah we gave up a lot but I definitely think it's worth it here and this trade I think it makes sense here. So basically um, the Portland Trail Blazers are getting a really talented forward to go ahead and pair with Scoot, Sharp, and for D. Simons here. Yeah and I feel like it's a very good addition here. So basically, the Blazers, they got OJ and Obi as a new small four for the team, which I absolutely love. I think that would be a really good addition to pair with, you know, Scoot and Anthony Simons, as well as Shaden Sharp. They're also getting a nice wing and Otto Porter Jr. They're also um, getting better forward depth of Chris Boucher, and they're also getting a backup center, which is desperately needed in pressure to it. So I feel like it's a really good trade here. And I really think the Blazers might actually do this trade if it's offered to them, but I don't know if the Raptors will be you know, willing to give up OG or something like that. It's probably going to be something, but the main thing is we got Damian Lord in the team. Yeah, if you take a look at the rotation, we got Damian Lillard, Gary Trent, Scotty Barnes, Siakam, Jakob Pertle, Dennis Schroeder, Jalen McDaniels, Thaddeus Young, Christian Coloco, and Grady Dick. So, honestly, I would love to upgrade, like, the end of our bench. Hopefully, at the trade the line. But if we're doing good, I'll just leave it. So, yeah. Um, most likely, stop for the trade the line. But if we're doing good, I guess I'll just leave it the way it is. We'll see what happens once we get there. We couldn't stop at the trade deadline, but one thing I will be doing is extending Gary Trent Jr. here. There were actually discussions about the Toronto Raptors and Gary Trent talking on like a contract extension and today I'm finally going to go ahead and extend him. So, um, he wants only $13 million, so I'm going to up that because I feel like he could be around like 17 to $18 million, something around the lines of that. So, let's say it's $18.5 million or $18.75 million for four years, get him under long term. So, Gary Trent Jr. will Welcome back to the team on a new contract. 102 million. Um, once again, he could he could get this money, but I don't know if it's gonna be 102 million. Maybe I overpaid a little bit, but I definitely think it is worth it. Gary Trent, he gets a bag, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So this year, after acquiring Dean Miller, we were the fourth seed. We got to play the Atlanta Hawks, so heading into our player stats here. We got about 29 points from Dean Miller. We got 18 from Pascal Siakam. We got 15 from Scotty Barnes. He is out four to six weeks, so he most likely won't play in the playoffs. At least I don't think. We got 14 from Gary Trent. We got 12 from Dennis Schroeder off the bench. Eight from Jalen McDaniels. We got seven and a half from Yakum Pertle. Six and a half from Lady Dick. We got four from Lamar Stevens. I forgot to mention that I actually went ahead and signed some guys because we didn't have enough players on our team. We had like 11 or 12. So I went ahead and signed Lamar Stevens. I also went ahead and signed Nerlens Noel as a decent center off the bench. And then I went ahead and just gave like Jeff Dalton like uh, an actual standard NBA contract. Or I think he already did. I'm not quite sure. But we went ahead and signed those two guys. But yeah, we have to play the Atlanta Hawks. So Trey Young, Dejounte Murray, AJ Griffin, Sadiq Bay, Clint Capella, Yankee Kalubo, Don Bogdanovic, Jalen Johnson, Bruno Fernando, Patrick Mills, and Kobe Bufkin. So against the Atlanta Hawks. Um, the way is Scotty Barnes playing, but we do get game one. No, he is now. We're starting McDaniels, which isn't terrible, but I obviously would love Scotty Barnes to play, but we can't make him play. So they want to run two centers off the bench with Noel and Coloco. I don't love it, but I guess since we won, sure. Game two, we're going to take. Game three, they're going to get one game. We're going to get the 3-1 lead, and we are going to go ahead and complete our mission and beat the Atlanta Hawks in five to go on against the New York Knicks. So the Knicks... Yeah, Jalen Brunson, Emmanuel Quickly, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Quentin Grimes, Isaiah Hernstein, Jericho Sims, Miles McBride, and Isaiah Robbie. So we all know the New York Knicks. Let's see what happens. So against the Knicks, we are okay. Yakum Pertle is hurt, but is he still playing? Yes, he is. Okay. 
They are gonna go up 2-1, they're gonna go up 3-1, and they, okay, we go, okay, so it's a 3-2 lead here for the Knicks. Jakob Pertl is saying I should take him out the rotation, but he's not budging here. How close is Scotty Barnes to coming back? Because I would definitely love him back, okay, he's one to two weeks, so if we can push this to a seven, he might be back. I'm not saying he will, but he might be, and it is looking like if we can keep on to our lead here, to the end of the game, we are gonna go ahead and win a 107-88 here. We got almost, we got 50 points from Damian Lillard, well, 49, that's crazy, and yeah, I definitely need that production, because Siakam and Dennis Schroeder, our rest of our guys are not doing nothing, so, W. Dane, we got 20 from Jalen Brunson, so is Scotty Barnes back? No, he is not, dang it, okay, um, but is he close now? Okay, so one or two weeks, but can we go ahead, force the game seven to play the Philadelphia Sixers in round three, so let's see what happens, so hopefully we can pull it off, and it's not looking too good, boys, and yeah, it's looking like we're gonna go ahead, and go outside and lose by the New York Knicks in seven. So definitely think if we ask Cardi Barnes, because I mean nobody else is really doing anything for us instead of Damian Lillard. I mean Siakam's doing it something, but not scoring all. I mean he is scoring over 20 points in the playoffs, never mind. But um, when I checked, he wasn't doing much. But yeah, we're gonna go outside. I wish Scotty Barnes would have came back, and yeah, I wish he would have so he can be fully healthy in the playoffs. We definitely would have beat the um, New York Knicks if Scotty Barnes was back. So injuries once again killed us. Harden averaging 40 points in the finals. Wow. So Thaddeus Young is going to retire from the NBA, LeBron, Kyle Lowry, we got Robin Lopez, Kevin Love, McGee, and all these other guys are retiring, so it's kind of sad to see, but yeah, they're retiring. So heading into the draft lottery here, we probably don't even have a pick in the draft, or I mean, I think we had, I thought there was, no, that was 2 and 25, so we probably don't have a pick in the draft, and like I said, we don't have a pick, so we're going to go ahead and skip the team and play options here. I mean, if we can make a trade right now to upgrade this team, I would definitely do it. The center position is questionable because Jakob Pertl, he doesn't develop at all in 2K, and he's kind of bad in 2K, so if we can trade him now, I would do it, but for now, I just want to keep on to him, and I feel like our depth is more important here, so team, so team play options, we got none, so qualifying offers, we got Ron Harper Jr., I'm not too concerned about him, so heading into free agency here, we have the bird rights to pass Hill Siakam, so he is um, a big free agent, which I am going to go ahead and pay him, I'm going to re-sign him, so about, let's say it's $39 million for five years, or four years, let's give him this contract, and then yeah, he is gonna sign it. So he almost signed with the Pacers, but we're gonna have the higher offer sheet here. Pascal Siakam, he is gonna get come back to the team. So go ahead and re-sign him. So Siakam, welcome back to the team. All right, we get Siakam locked up long term, and then yeah, Scotty Barnes is gonna be a free agent next year, as well as Dennis Schroeder. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff we gotta address before I get into the new season. So we definitely need like a good wing. That's that's what we need. So. Yeah, and as you can see, there's not really that good options. I mean, Tori and Prince, don't get me wrong, is a very good addition. If we can get him on a minimum, that would be insane, but we probably can't. So, it's going to go ahead and sign Tori and Prince to a two-year, $30 million, and then we need one more wing just in case. Ah, man, I, I, I really don't want to sign Marcus Morris or Robert Covington. We got, like, Royce O'Neal, which actually would be pretty decent here. So, Royce O'Neal will be a fun get here. Royce O'Neal, I'm going to sign him. But can we sign the both of them and Tori and Prince? We probably can't, and yeah, we can, as you can see. So we wasted our biannual exception. So when we sign, I mean, I would rather have Tony and Prince to be honest with you because Royce O'Neal doesn't really do anything in 2K. I'm pretty sure Tony and Prince is younger. So we actually might have to make a trade here, trade Yakum Pirtle for more depth because I, I don't, I don't like we're heading into the new season with. Yeah, I really don't like it. So a center, center's available. Jamichael Green, this Mac Bayambo. I'll go and sign Bayambo to a two-year minimum contract, and then yeah, there's nothing really else we can do to be honest. I'll go and sign that extra guard. So Austin Rivers, Brian Forbes, Kendrick Nunn. Uh, yeah, I think we signed Kendrick Nunn. Now I'm I'm in shambles right now. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and make a trade for Yakum Pearl to upgrade this depth in some kind of way, man. One problem I had of trading out Pertle is I realized we won't have a starting center now that we trade a pressure to us. So, I mean, like, if, if the Raptors trade for Dan, they'll have no leftover depth. So, I guess we can bank on, like, Grady Dick developing to, like, a 76 or something like that. And then, yeah, I'm not really loving it at all. It's going to play a progression. 
So Damian Lillard is going down once again. That's another red flag why the Raptors really shouldn't try to trade for Damian though, even though they have interest in doing it. Because he, he is about like 33 years old at this point, and yeah, after a couple of years, he'll be about, yeah, he won't probably won't be the same player. Siakam is up, Scotty Barnes is up, Gary Trent, we got Christian Coloco going up to 76, Ready Dick going up to 75, and then these guys are going down. So literally every single depth person we sign, and it's just literally going down over. Overall, man, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'll see you guys at the beginning of the season. So your rotation heading into this season, we got Damian Lillard, Gary Trent, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, Yakum Pirtle, Dennis Schroeder, Christian Coloco, Jalen McDaniels, Royce O'Neal, Brady Big. So it's not bad. Maybe I was overacting a little bit, but I don't think we're contenders just yet. I definitely want to start with the trade the line and upgrade our depth. I said that last time, but I couldn't find a trade the last time. We might have to trade like one of our key players to get better. They get better like bench pieces, but I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Or or at the trade deadline. I forgot. So we're stopping at the trade deadline here to go ahead and trade Yakum Pirtle. So we won't really have a decent starting center. I mean, Pirtle is great and all, but once again, he's just bad in 2K. Seven points, center and a half rebounds. He's just not as good as he is in real life in 2K. That's why I want to go ahead and trade him here before he gets older and he starts progressing even lower. So we're trading Yakum Pirtle and this guy, once again, do not how I, I do not know how to pronounce his name. And we're getting Andre Drummond and a reliable backup shooting guard. Um, instead of Kendrick Nunn, also getting a decent backup center, so I would do this, but let's just see what happens. If we can squeeze like a first round pick out of them, that would be quite nice. So like a valuable one, because the Oklahoma City Thunder do have a lot available for us, but I don't know if they say yes to this at all. Let's see what they say. They want Christian Coloco in the first, and they will give me Lindy Waters. I, I hate trading Coloco, but I mean, we are getting a valuable um, pick swap, or I mean, let's just go back to the original trade and just get Andre Drummond and Luke Kennard. There's no point in doing this. All right, so after that trade, Andre Drummond is our fourth best player on the team. So it's not great at all, um, but I guess it's fine. So we're starting Andre Drummond once again. Um, this is not great at all. We can, I mean, starting Siakam. Uh, so, okay, let's go to the rotation. We got Damian Lillard, Luke Kennard, Scotty Barnes, Pascal Siakam, Andre Drummond, Dennis Schroeder, Jalen McDaniels, Grady Dick, and Royce O'Neal. And Christian Coloco at the end of the bench is our backup center. It's not terrible, once again, like I said, but, I mean, how would a lineup look if it's like Spasso Siakam to the center, Scotty Barnes to the four, and then actually that could, I mean, I'll just see you guys at the end of the season. If I make a lineup adjustment, I will show you guys in the playoffs, but I guess I'll just go ahead and ride it the way it is. So at the end of the season, we were the second seed in the East. So maybe this year we can win a championship. So I feel like we have like one or two more years until we just stop because this team is getting older and stuff like that. So we got 22 from Dave, 18 from Scotty Barnes, 18 from Pascal Siakam, 13 from Dennis Schroeder, 12 from Gary Trent, 8 and then 10 points from, and then 10 rebounds from Andre Drummond. So he's not the center of the future for sure by any means. We got 7 from Grady, if we got 7 from Luke Kennard, 7 from Christian Cole. I don't know if Coloco can develop into that, but if he can, that would be absolutely insane. And we got six and a half from Jalen McDaniels, three from Royce O'Neal, and point seven from Bismack Biambo. So we got the New York Knicks, which they have Brunson, DiVincenzo, RJ Barrett, and they have Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart, Cameron Payne, Keita Bay Stop, Good Seller. I mean, their bench is kind of lackluster, but let's see what happens. So against the New York Knicks, we are going to go ahead and beat them in seven. So we come back from three to two, I think so, or it's three to one. Not quite sure but we got the magic so drew holiday jalen suggs franz Wagner, paula ben carroll uh, jalen Dern, christian wood anthony black mo wagner alex Sar, caleb houston and jen howard so a pretty good young team in um in orlando let's see what happens so game one they're gonna take game two we evened it up game three okay christian coloco tore his hamstrings out for the season gosh our center depth is just horrible right now man the only center we have in the rotation is on him right now i'm not loving him he's averaging seven and ten i mean him and coloco literally him and um 
Yakin and Pirtle have identical numbers right now, but we don't have another center in the rotation. I mean, we could go ahead and play like Bayambo and run an 11 minute rotation, but I, I really don't want to do that inside the playoffs. So, um, we do take the 2 1 lead. We're going to take the 3 1 lead. Christian Wood, 26, 35 from Dame. And, um, okay, they're going to get two games, but we are going to beat them in six to go ahead and play the Detroit Pistons. So, aren't, aren't they a playing team? Yes, they are. Okay, they're a playing team. They made it all the way to the conference finals. So, they got Jay Nivey, Star Thompson, Ron Holland, DeMar DeRozan, Nick Claxton, Isaiah Stewart, Blaine Bogdanovich, Marvin Bagley, Marcus Sasser. It's like, where's Kay Cunningham? Ooh, Kay Cunningham's hurt. Okay. This might be like a huge loss for the Pistons. I mean, how long is he injured? Because it seems like he should be playing, and he is actually out for the season with a dislocated right. Okay, so he's out for the season, which is amazing. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's it's good for our side. So game one, we're going to take. Game two, they even it up. Game three, we're going to take the 2-1 lead. They're going to eat her up once again, and they're going to take the 3-2 lead. There's no way we lose by a team with no K cutting him. There's no way we lose by the Pistons with no K cutting him. Asar Thompson and Nick Claxton are hurt. We're also supposed to game seven and get this over with, man. We should not be losing to this team. So we're in the conference finals, which is a really good sign. If we get a starting center, I definitely think we can be something. And it is looking like we're going to force the game seven. All right. 123 to 111. We got 26 from Damian Lillard, 23 from Scotty Barnes, 21 from Billy Dick, and 19 from Pascal Siakam. So we're in a game seven here and we gotta play the thunder which we actually made a trade with them so if we win this game we're gonna we're gonna play yaka purtle in the nba final so it's a really close game here heading into the fourth it's, it's actually really really close and tight right now but um okay we actually might have to hop into this one yeah, actually, we're, 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 we're going to pull off. All right, we're going to win in seven to play Yakum Pirtle in the NBA Finals. That, that's actually crazy, man. Jay and Ivy had almost 40 points. But we got 27 from Siakam, 25 from Gary Tram, 21 from Andre Drummond. Wow, he came in clutch. 30 from Scotty Barnes. No, wait, hold on. 20 from Gay Dick, 13 from Scotty Barnes. Did Scotty Barnes get hurt? What happened? Okay, it's only swaying left knees. Is he still is he playing? No, okay. Alright, so we have no Scotty Barnes or Christian Coloco almost for the, I mean, I, is it like one to two weeks or something? Alright, I know it's day to day. Okay, he's, he should be back. We gotta play the Oklahoma City Lodge. So, Kaysen Wallace, Shales Alexander, Lou Dort, Jalen Williams, Yakum Pirtle. They're actually starting him. Wait, wait, something seems off here. Like, do they have any injury? It just seems like they do. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Josh Giddy is hurt. Um, Chet Holmgren is hurt. And that's it. Alright, so they have some injuries, but game one we're gonna take. Okay, we got the 40 and Dane. He's going off, man. And our role players here, Dennis Schroeder and Gary Trent going off as well. Jay Gorsh Alexander with 27, though. But game two, they're going to even it up here. We got 33 from Josh Giddy. Game three, Scotty Barnes is back. Let's go, man. But we are going to lose. Okay. Is Jakob Pirtle playing any good or better than the OK? He's averaging 15 points in the playoffs, man. That's... All right, so, all right, so let's see what happens. All right, um, okay, they're going to go 3-1. There's no way we go all the way to the NBA Finals just to lose by Jakob Pirtle and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Man, no way, okay. Um, But hopefully we can divorce a game six, and we do divorce a game six, all right? Next thing I have to do is we have to divorce a game seven. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but Kloko, I mean, he's not coming back, but I wish he could. Um, Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens. Can we divorce a game seven in Oklahoma City? We probably can't, but it's a good shot. Let's see what happened so against the thunder i mean it's close we it's still it's still wide open here for us to go ahead and pull it off we're gonna force the game seven w man okay but can we win in seven and get a championship in toronto that would be absolutely amazing here so let's see what happens let's not lose please don't 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 lose come on come back in this come back in oh man i, I, I was trying to stop what what's the score Oh, it was a one-point game, dude. I could have hopped in and played and easily came back. Man, that's that, that, that's just unfortunate, man. Dang. But that is a good sign because that is obvious that we are definitely ready to go ahead and win the championship. Even with not that good a depth here, we can easily get a starting center and go ahead and go far in the playoffs here. So it's probably gonna, it's probably what I'm gonna do here. But we don't have a probably don't have a pick in the draft. I'm, pro, I'm not, pro, probably not even gonna check. But we actually have pick on the eight in the draft. So gonna go ahead and select um, Nicola Toppin, I guess he's the best player in the draft. Let's go ahead and get him, and then we're gonna go ahead and accept him to his rookie contract. So Greg Dick, I'm gonna. 
can accept his team option qualifying offers. Kendrick Nunn still has a qualifying offer. It's kind of, kind of crazy. But Scotty Barnes, Keon Johnson, Christian Coloco, I'll have to bring them back. I'm not going to extend the qualifying offer of Keon Johnson. Only Scotty Barnes and Christian Coloco. So, in free agency, do we have any money to the starting center? I mean, Zach Collins, honestly, would be a pretty good addition. But um, we already have under Drummond. So, yeah, definitely want to um, definitely want to make a trade here for a starting center. So, I'm going to look around the league and see what I can find. Alright, so looking around the league, and what I found was, I mean, Nurkic is on a one-year deal. We just traded with the Blazers. I want to trade with them again. Rudy Gobert, I don't see the point of, like, moving on from Andre Drummond or Jakob Pertl if we're just going to go ahead and trade for about $46 million player, uh, $46 million in Rudy Gobert. Nikola Jokic would be impossible to get, trust me. We also got, like, Wendell Carter. Anthony Davis could be available here because the Lakers aren't really that good of a team right now at this point in the year. So let's go ahead. Actually... I'm trying to leave here. I'm trying to stay as realistic as possible, but it's kind of hard. I mean, Mark Williams will be good. Walker Kessler will be good, but I don't see why the Jazz will go ahead and trade him to us. Mitchell Robinson is the only realistic option here. I mean, right now the New York Knicks might want to sell on some players a little bit because their team is really not that good right now. I mean, it's free agency, but I want Mitchell Robinson on the team. Hopefully we can take him on, so Andre Drummond will have to be in the deal. Do we need, like, a minimum salary? That's where our rookie comes in, man. I'm sorry to trade him, but Nikola Toppin, you're going to have to be in New York Knicks, I believe. If we can get Mitchell Robinson, that would be insane. And then we sign Zach Collins, man. I can just see it right now. Now I'm going to try not to give him a first-round pick. I would just three seconds to get this to go through and they do agree we get our starting center in Mitchell Robinson let's go man then if we can still sign Zach Collins yes bro yes okay very good additions then Scotty Barnes I'll go ahead and give him a contract once my tournament is over so Zach Collins welcome to the team man I really love these additions these center additions bringing them up for those guys and then Scotty Barnes I'll go ahead and give him the bag here once again we're gonna be in salary cap hell if we do this but I'm gonna go ahead and sign Scotty Barnes to his max contract we probably can all only offer minimum contracts here, so we do still have Christian Coloco, which I'm actually gonna go ahead and trade this night by Yambo though, because I still want to bring back Christian Coloco. So I'm gonna send him over to the Clippers for that. They want to offer me a first, which honestly is kind of insane, but you could have him for a first, man. <laughs> we won that trade easily, but Coloco, he's asking for 15 million. I'll wait till his qualifying offer. You got Scotty Barnes, Royce O'Neal. I mean, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and sign a guard or a forward here. So Schroeder, I'll definitely be one. To bring him back since he's the best point guard available that we can go ahead and sign. So then it's here. Mick Daniels will be in also would be a great addition as well. And we can bring him back. So very good here. And Jalen McDaniels will go ahead and use him with my biannual exception, I believe so. So McDaniels will go ahead and sign him. Then after that, we have 11 players on our team, so we could still sign some other guys, which I'm fine with. We got Karis Lever on a minimum contract. It feels like absolute steal. So Karis Lever, I'll sign him. Then we uh, would just sign like another forward here. So like Stanley Johnson would be amazing. So Stanley Johnson, I'll go ahead and sign him to a one-year minimum. Bringing them both of those guys in Coloco will be back in qualifying offers. So now we have about 13 players in Coloco. We'll complete the roster with 14. I'll wait till like free agency to go. Go ahead. I mean, I wait to like. I'm not gonna sign an extra 15 players. No point doing that. I mean, we could. It's not like extra guard, but I'm fine with that. So Coloco. Actually, I'm gonna wait till day 12 to go ahead and see what's available. And, and never mind. I forgot to stop. So Coloco, welcome back to the team. Then after that, and player progression. Lillard is down. Scotty Barnes is up. Gary Trent is up. Christian Coloco's up. Three. Eddie Dick is up. And Dennis Schroeder with Luke Kennard going down, as well as Kyrie Silver and Keon Johnson going up three. The rotation is Damian Lillard, Gary Trent, Scotty Burns, Pascal Siakam, Mitchell Robinson, Zach Collins, Grady Dick, Dennis Schroeder, Karis Lillard, and Jalen McDaniels. And then Coloco will come in if somebody gets injured like Zach Collins. So, yeah, it's going to be the last season, man. Let's just go ahead and win a championship. We made it to the finals last year. Almost won, and I feel like we have the better assets here. Let's win a championship. We're the number one seed. So this has to be our year to go ahead and win a championship. We got, yes, yeah, so we got 21 from Scotty Ron. He's like the main guy on the team now. We got 19 from Dame, as I can see happening right now with 35 years old. 
17 and a half from Siakam. We got 15 from Gary Trent, 13 from Grady Dick. We got 12 from Dennis Schroeder. Dennis Schroeder has been actually a really reliable backup point guard through this video. I didn't mention it. 9 from Zach Collins, 8 from Mitchell Robinson with 7 rebounds and 2 blocks off the... I mean, starting, we got 6 from Karen Silver, 5 from Christian Coloco. We got 5 from Jalen McDaniels, 5 from Luke Kennard, and 3 from Royce O'Neal. So, yeah. This is the starting lineup we were rolling with. Um, they want to start... They actually want to start Grady Dick at the 2, which I'm fine with. I like Gary Trent as a bench piece, actually. So, yeah, I could have done this a long time ago, but... We gotta play the Knicks, so Cameron Payne, Quentin Grimes, RJ Barrett, John, there's no way we lose with this team, okay? So yeah, we traded we traded Andre Drummond, I forgot about that. And yeah, there's just no way we lose by this team, right? This team is absolutely terrible. And we okay, you really dick is hurt, and we're gonna beat them in five to play the Miami Heat. So Dylan Harper, Tyler Hero, Jason Tatum, Nicole Jovic, Bam Adebayo, James Wiseman, Judah, Mintz, Corey, Corey Joseph, John Waltz. A lot of point guards on the team for sure. I just don't think they're better than us. Like, I love the big three of Hero, Tatum, and Bam, but the rest of the team is pretty, pretty nice. It's not that good, man. So I think we have a better team all around with Dame. Now they want to start getting the trends. They're just going back and forth with who to start, really. I should have cut our rotation. I mean, McDaniels is literally averaging 0.7 points per game in the playoffs. I don't know what what's going on here, but let's see what happens, so, against the Heat, okay, we're gonna go up 3-1, and, okay, Ray Dick is back, and we're gonna beat them in 5, alright, so, the preacher is gonna start now, and no, he doesn't, alright, so we're on to the conference finals to play the Pistons, so, Peyton Pritchard as their starting point guard, Jaden Ivey, is Pritchard playing any, any good, I mean, 11 points in the playoffs, Jaden Ivey, Ron Holland, Isaiah Stewart, Nick Claxton, Jalen Dern, Asar Thompson, don't sell, Miles Bridges, William Badanovich, and Isaiah Liver. so, there's like, Kate Cunningham hurt, no, there's no, Ooh, they have Brunson now. Okay, so they replace K. Cunningham with Jalen Brunson. I think he's on the buck, so let's see what happens. So, how long is Brunson out? Because this could be a big loss. He's out for the season. Alright, so, um, game one, we're going to take game two. Schroeder is hurt. Is he playing, though? And, yeah, no, he's not. Okay, we're going to take game two. And then game three, they're going to take, okay. And then game four. Four. Okay, they're gonna tie it up to two males. Not choke this. And I'm gonna take the three two lead. Oh man. Seven Brunson must be back, but he isn't. Okay, so I don't know how we're losing by this team. I definitely think we're one of the best teams right now in the playoffs, but let's just see what happens against in game seven years. We do win game six. We go ahead and win in game seven. I should have shrunk our rotation. This McNeil is really doing nothing to help this team right now, so we'll see what happens. It's a close game. Come on, we, we gotta win. We gotta win this. We gotta win this. We have to win this, man. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Okay. We do win game six. Gonna win game seven to go ahead and play the Rockets in the NBA Finals. The Rockets have Kevin Porter Jr. I don't know if he's still gonna be with the team. Probably not. Jalen Green, Kimber Whitmore, Jabari Smith, Kyle Flipikowski, the guy, Man Thompson, Van Bleeth, Hardy East, and Dylan Brooks, Isaiah Jackson, Buddy Hield, and Julius. So we'll see what happens against the Rockets. Game one, okay, we're gonna take 27 from Dame. Game two, they're gonna even it up. Game three, we're gonna take the 2-1 lead, and they're gonna even it up once again. Can we go ahead and get the 3-2 lead? Here, so let's see what happens, and, um, okay, it's a close game. Hopefully we can get this game. This game is actually huge, but we are gonna go ahead and disappoint, so. Yeah, I mean, if we, I don't know if we're gonna win this, man. Okay, let's see what happens. We're gonna update the rotation, because we definitely need to, okay, so. If, if, okay, okay, they want to have McDaniels play no minutes, which I can see why he's starting, he's literally shooting 16% from three, so I don't know, I don't know what happened to him. He fell off in the playoffs for sure. Karis LeVert, Luke Kennard, man. Alright, can we force the game seven? Uh, I'll be really disappointed if we lose in the finals once again. I really want to win a championship with Damon and the Raptors. It's, it just seems so fun. And we are going to go ahead and... Okay, we're going to force the game seven. 35 from Dame, 17 from Gary Trent, 15 from Zach Collins. So, the biggest game of the video. And can we go ahead and win this, man? Uh, Alright, All right, here we go. Let's do this. But do we want to update our rotation or like start at different players? No, I guess we're fine with Dame, Trent, Barnes, Pascal, and Mitchell Robinson, man. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we come out of the first quarter kind of hot. No, no, never mind, because we're going to go ahead, lose the second quarter, then lose the third quarter, and then go ahead and lose the I mean, All right, we're going to lose the seven, so they to the finals again. We are going to lose the seven once again, man. Dang.
All right, I don't know what we're gonna do this time. It's no point in really running it back another year because we're probably gonna suck once again. I mean, I'll try it one more year's resign all of our guys. Dang, will be 36, so I'll run it back one more year. And after that, we're definitely done. All right, so for the last season, we're the number one seed. We gotta play the Bucks. So Kay Cunningham, Grayson Allen, Jimmy Wiggins, and Kessler. But sadly, Pascal Siakam's out for this four to six weeks. So game one, we're gonna take. Game two, we're gonna take. Game three, we're gonna take. And game four, we're gonna sweep him. So how close is Siakam gonna be coming back? Okay, I'm still for six weeks and he swept him. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if Scotty Barnes and Dave can carry by themselves. So now we got the Pistons. Brunson, Asar, Ron Holland, Miles Bridges, Nick Claxton, Jay Ivey, Robert Williams, Corey. Kispert, Xavier Booker, Marcus Sasser, and Luca Garza. So against the Pistons, okay, I'm gonna go game by game here. So game one, they're gonna take. Game two, we're gonna even it up. Game three, they're gonna take. Game four, we're gonna even it up. Game five, we're gonna take a three-two lead, and we're gonna beat them in six. Since Yakum is back, almost back. Wait, looks like he's actually playing. Is he? No way, right? Okay, and Pascal Siakam is actually playing. Let's go. He scored 28 points. Um, yeah, so good. Thing Pascal Siakam's playing, but yeah, now we got the Indiana Pacers. So Tyrese, Kyrie Irving, very terrifying backcourt. Matt Buzelas, Kayla Martin, Alfred Shenbun, Flory, Moses Moody, Tate Washington, Jairus Walker, Cody Williams, and Allen Nelson. So game one, they're gonna take. We're gonna even it up. We're gonna take the two one lead, three one lead. But can we beat them in five? Yes, we can. We're going to the NBA Finals to play the Denver Nuggets. So the Nuggets they have the Jamal Murray, Peyton Watson, MPJ, Aaron Gordon, Mark Williams, Nikola Jokic not here. Wow, Jokic is hurt. That's actually one of the biggest losses yet. He's out for the season on a high left ankle sprain. Let's go, man! Like no Jokic. Just starting Mark Williams though, so he's actually a pretty good player. But let's see what happens. We're gonna take game two and game three. They're gonna get, and we're gonna take the three one lead. And we are gonna win the championship with finals MVP going to Damian Lillard. Speaking, I don't think I showed the player stats here. So we had 21 from Scotty Barnes, 17 and a half from Dame. He's 36 now. 16 from Gary Trent, 15 from Siakam. He's 33 now. We got 14 from Randy Dick. We got 12 from, I mean, 11 from Mitch Robinson, eight from Christian Coloco, seven from Dennis Schroeder, seven from Zach Collins, five from Aiden, then four and a half from Obi Top. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.